I know that God is with you. He'll never leave us, never forsake us. He's ever present. Some of us he speaks to. Some of us he gives dreams. Some of us he sends people to speak to us. Either way, he's with us today. Either way, he's with you today. Right? You have to make it personal. He's with me today. Amen. One thing I've noticed, um, whenever God is really wanting to say something, the enemy takes my voice. Some of the doctor says acid reflux. Some say you sleep with a pillow on an angle. I say it's the enemy, and we bind the hand of the enemy today. And we lose voice today. We lose voice today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Father, we give you praise and glory and honor. God, we ask that Gwen decrease and God, that you increase. God, we ask that everything that we is said and done today, that you will get the glory, that you will get the honor, and that you will say what you will want the people to hear. And not just what you want them to hear, but what the people need. God, say what I need to hear and what I need, Jesus. Father God, we trust you and we believe you that this will be done according to your will and to your way. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So, I tried to put a, together a message about together, about gathering the saints. No, you give me a little more volume, please. About together and gathering the saints. All right. But I didn't get nothing, y'all. Because guess what? That's what Gwen was wanting to put it all together, right? Gwen wanted to make it dress right dress. And it didn't work. That's why the belt broke in the bathroom. And because it don't have to be dress right dress. How many know the Lord will say, just come as you are and be who you are and do what he wants you to do? So a while ago, I was reading about these seven churches. And God said, that'll preach. I said, preach when, Lord? And so I tried to put together the gathering of the saints and together, Erica dealt with together on Friday. I was like, yeah, yeah, she hitting on it. That's right where I'm going. Not so. <laughs> Not so. So even this morning, I still was trying to go left. And he said, not so. I said, well, okay, God, I'm just going to go to the seven churches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the question I pose today is, what kind of church are you? Yeah. What kind of church are you? Right? So Noah said, <laughs> he put chapters. You're cute, Noah. Noah said, the whole two chapters, Gwen? I said, <laughs> Well, it's the whole two chapters, Noah. Mm, Y'all give me a minute. Can I just be one? Mm -hmm. Right? Those invisible eyes weren't going to let me be great today. You got to take the teeth out sometimes. You know, the old folk got to take teeth out. Y'all, I'm transparent. Those invisible lines was not working with me right now today. Right? The belt off, the teeth off. Y'all ready? Yeah. In a minute, we're going to take, might have to take these shoes off. But there you go. We're going to do what thus saith the Lord today. Yeah. What yeah. kind of church are you? Uh -huh. Right? We know that um, we look at the building as a church. We build great cathedrals. We build little churches. We have storefront churches. Yeah. We have um, some of them, they call them municipals, right? Pastor R.J. Washington had a couple of different names in his churches. He had the Harvest Dome, right? Titus Harvest in the Spectrum. We named them all kind of things, right? Whatever you got to do, what you need to know, you need to be in the church, right? Right? Because the church, is he coming back for the buildings? Right? We look so much at the church as a building that we miss what the church really is. 
And because that we don't really look what the church really is, we're not going to be ultimately together as the church. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He don't need no buildings no. because he already got mansions and everything. All that's awaiting us. Yeah. So what we need to deal with is having the church ready to meet Jesus. Pastor Jones used to say, we're getting the people ready to meet Jesus. It's an ongoing process that we need to know that we must do to get to our real church. Some people say we play church. We played church the other Friday night, right? Erica say they, they had the pastor and they, they shouted. He did everything right while we were playing church. Time out for playing church, y'all. Time out for playing church. How many know that Jesus is coming? Y'all, he coming sooner than we really think. I used to hear Katie say that. And Katie was 81 or 2 when she passed. And that's been all of 02 when Katie passed in 02. So we didn't add about 25 more years to that. And he, they've been saying a long time, Jesus is soon to come. Y'all, he closer than we think. Right? Right? Y'all, the old folks who say, I smelt you coming. We should be sensing God's presence. He's closer. Now, the Webster said that the church is a building for public and especially Christian worship. The clergy or an office dotum of a religious body, right? Then it says a church is a body or organization of religious believers. Then it broke it down a little bit, and here's what we fall in. The whole body of Christ, the denomination or the congregation. Are you part of the congregation today? You are the church. So the question is, what kind of church are you? Uh Got all kind of churches out there. We can name them Baptist, Pentecostal, non-denomination. They say the hospital church. Y'all seen that? They got a hospital. It's called a hospital church. All kind of churches. But none of that's going to heaven. What needs to go to heaven is you as a church. What kind of church are you? The Bible says in Romans 12, 4 and 5, it says, For as much have, for as we have many members in one body, And all members have not the same office. So we being many are one body in Christ and every one member of another. We are the church. He's coming back. He he don't want these chairs. He's coming back for you, but he wants you. You, the church, is what he wants. Ephesians 5 says a lot, right? Brother, no, I ain't tell you the whole Ephesians 5. I could have put that up there. You know, pastors have a lot of scriptures, Brother Jason, right? He said last Sunday, he said, I got one scripture. Brother Jason said, huh? I've been here long enough to know you got more than one scripture, right? The whole chapter of Ephesians 5, y'all got homework today because I'm not going to read all of this. The whole chapter of Ephesians 5, it starts out, it says, be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Right? He's talking to us. Right? It begins to tell us how we be, how we are to be as that dear child of God. Right? It tells us uncleanliness and fornication. Y'all got your Bibles. You got your swords. It goes on down to talk about why we should be. I love you, darling. Have a great day. We're praying for you, Terrell. Um, how to be in the spirit. Right? How to be acceptable, right? The whole chapter five. Yeah. And then it goes on down to 27, right? It says, um, 26 says that he may sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word yeah. Yeah. that he might present it to himself as a glorious church. Now, he, the church building ain't not fornicating. It ain't not sinning. It ain't, it ain't the building they talking about. 
talking about us as a church. Yes, right. Ephesians 5 tell us how we should be as a church uh -huh. right here. Yeah. Yeah. This flesh, this heart, my yeah. spirit. That's right. That he may present it to himself, the Lord, as a glorious church. Yeah. Not having a spot or a wrinkle yeah. or such thing, uh -huh. but that it should be holy and without blemish. Yeah. That's us. That's what he wants us as a church. Yeah. What kind of church are you? Yeah. Right? Thank you. Since we know it's not the building, we can really say it's us. Yeah. It's us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? You have to make it personal. Right? I, I think I say that a lot because it is personal. Mm -hmm. Right? I can't do nothing to get Walter into heaven. Yeah, right. I can't. I could pray for him. But if he don't do what he's supposed to do in Ephesians 5, mm -hmm. sorry, Charlie. I think, that, I think that's what the tuna man said. Sorry, Charlie. Right? We can, we can lift one up, but if we don't align our church up with the word of God, we're not making it. We're not making it. Right? We're not making it. Right? What kind of church are you? I'm going to say it. I keep it simple, right? My, my x-ray teacher taught me that, right? Seven churches. Seven churches. So we're in Revelations 2. We know it was written by John. Like, I, I know the Bible, but I, can't, I ain't, I ain't going to sit up and say I'm a scholar, and I know this Revelations hand and foot. But I'm going to give you all what God gave me, right? Seven churches. Seven churches. Ephesians, Samaria. Pergamos, uh -huh. Thyatira, Tira, say it no, Thyatira, mm -hmm. Sardius, mm -hmm. Philadelphia, yeah. and Laodicea. Yeah. Yeah. Seven churches, yeah. Yeah. right? Seven churches with seven different ways of being a church. They all had different ways of being considered the church most of them God was not pleased he was not pleased what kind of church are you are we walking in a way that God is not pleased who would know who would know only two people gonna know you and God my plate's so full. So say, Erica, I can look at you and be like, I don't want to know what she's doing. Right? Because I can't do nothing about it but pray for her. Right? Your situation is your situation because it's your church. If I, if y'all depended on me to do it all right to get to heaven, you might be in trouble. This is Candy. You might be in trouble. I'm going to do my best, right? But I can't get you to heaven, Jacob. Can't do it. You got to look at your church, right? So we come in the building, and we, we, we make the church look good. I'm going to talk about it. We're going to make the church look good. So I come in here, and if you look, you see all these plants, and my husband told me the church was not a nursery, right? <laughs> but because this is a church, and we want the church to be beautiful, if, if I got a little touch, what I can do with my hands, I'm going to do it. Sister Sandy comes in. She's just as wonderful because she told me she bring her own cleaning supplies. I was like, something wrong with my pine saw that I brought from Walmart, right? But she wants the church to be special her way. She comes and she cleans and she does this. Pastor come and lay out and he prays and the spirit is flowing, right? Somebody clean up the front. Noah, make sure the sound is right. Jacob empties the trash on Sundays. We all have a part in the church, but not your church. Not your church. We can all make this building look good, and sometimes we like that as our own church. We looking good, right? Looking good, and where are we going? On our way to hell, right? We looking good. I got little red bottom shoes on, and I got it all right. 
got the perfect hairdo, right? I got my nails manicured. I'm looking right on my way to hell. Y'all, I don't want you to go. Personally, I don't want you to go, right? But you should personally not want to go. You should personally not want to go. Ever burned your hand on the stove? How long did it hurt? Right. Could you imagine that forever? Seven churches. Seven churches. So the first church, right, is Ephesus. Right? I'm going to run through these scriptures real fast, but you got homework to do. If you really want to know what kind of church you are and to get your church right, you'll go back and read. And a lot of times I've been afraid to read Revelations because you know why we're afraid to read it? Because you don't want to know what you might find yourself in there, right? And you don't want to know what it's going to be like at the end times. But how many know that lack of knowledge will lead you in the wrong direction. So if just because you don't know, that don't mean you're not responsible or it won't happen. It's happening and we need to get into it. Revelations 2, he's talking to the church of Ephesus. It says, unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, these things saith the Lord, the seven stars in his right hand who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. Y'all know he told you he'll blow your candlestick out. Do you want your light to not shine before God anymore? He says, I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how you canst not bear them which are evil. That thou hast tried them which saith they are apostles and are not and have found them liars, and have borne, bored, and has patience for my name's sake, hath labored and has not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because you lost, you left your first love. We did all this in the name of Christ, and then we kind of somewhat started doing it in the name of something else. Or we just made it a routine. We get up and we brush our teeth every morning, right? I pray, right? Every morning we get up and we brush our teeth, right? How many really think about brushing their teeth? It's a routine. You get up, you do it, right? You do it, you, you get up, you do it. Are we just doing church? Are we just getting up coming? Are we just doing it? Are we just logging on? Right? Are, are we just doing it? Have we really left our first love? Because when you really love something, right, your whole heart is in it. Y'all yeah, remember that first love? Go back. Think about it. You was all into it. Oh, could nothing come before that first love. Oh, oh, oh. And then they left. And then your heart broke, or you left. And you didn't feel that no more. Have we left? Are we still in love with Christ the way we first fell in love? When we first gave our life to Christ, you couldn't keep us out of Bible study. Baby, we listened to the only gospel. I changed everything. I changed the whole outfits. I changed everything. Did we leave our first love? Are we just going through the motions? But God said, remember, therefore, whence thou have fallen and repent and do the first works or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick from thy place, except you repent. But thou hast, mm -hmm. it says, but this thou hast that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate too. So, okay, what are the Nicolaitans? They decided that you could mix some religious. You can live right and do wrong, and you can say wrong and do right, and we all going to heaven. 
right? That's a quick way to just kind of mix that all together. They didn't like them. Well, you, I don't like y'all because you're wrong, but you ain't check yourself. You're hating them for what they're doing wrong, but you ain't check yourself. But like we said in Sunday school today, he gives us an opportunity to get it right. Right, he loves us so much that he's speaking to this church and saying, but if you repent, you'll see me again, right? And he says, he that have an ear, let him hear. I thought that was really interesting that he said it over and over again. Uh Does that mean we're not listening? He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the church. To him that overcometh, I will give to him that overcometh. I will give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. They got a chance to get it right. What is your church like? What kind of church are you? So the church of Samaria, and I'm going to run through this. It says, these things said the, the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works. If he said he's saying, I know thy works, y'all, what did he know about us? If he can tell this John to write this living epistle of revelations, and he knew the churches, what does he know about us? What is he writing about you? Now let me now what is he writing about Gwen? What is what what is he going to tell me about my church? Do you worry about your letter? Cuz we all going to have a letter. Amen. It says I know thy works in the tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say as thou art Jews and are not and are the, and are, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou hast suffered. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that you may be tried. And ye shall have tribulations ten days, but be thou faithful unto death. And I will give you the crown of life. So we already, one church going to get the tree. If we do right, we'll get the tree of life. And now we're going to get the crown of life. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says. He that overcometh shall not be hurt in the second death. We can't worry about this world no more, y'all. We can't worry about what is to come in this world when we truly is the church of God. Tribulations will come and we will suffer. Jesus suffered. You're not greater. I'm just going to let you know. You're not. If he can suffer, we can suffer. But at the end of the suffering, we're going to get the tree of life. Right? What kind of church are you? Right? This other church, it says, these things which you have, the sharp swore. That this is Pergamus, Pergamus, the church of Pergamus. I know thy works again. Where you dwellest, where Satan sits, that holdest fast my name and has not denied my faith, even in those days wherein Amphilus was my faithful matriarch, I think that's what it is, who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. But he says, but I have a few things against thee. Y'all. God is just so wonderful because he'll say, I have a few things against thee. Give us time. I'm not up here just for no other reason but to say, get it together. Get it together. Right? He's given us an opportunity to get it together, Gwen. More than one chance. Right? Right? I have a few things against you because thou hast there then that hold the doctrine of bomb who taught Balak to cast the stumbling box before the children of Israel to eat things, sacrifice unto idols, and to commit fornication. 
So thou hast also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans. Y'all bear with me. Which these things I hate. Yeah. Why are you holding on to things that you know is not of God? Mercy. Why? Let it go. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Repent or else. Yeah. Sound like your mama, right? Yeah. I can hear my mama. You better get it right or else. Uh, right? I will come quickly. Right? Here's our warning. The Bible already tells us there's this warning before destruction. Yeah. Right? I come quickly and will fight against thee with the sword of my mouth. God ain't playing. No, he's, not. he's not playing. No. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said to the Lord. To him that overcometh, I will give to eat of hidden man. Uh -huh. And I will give him white stone and in the white, in the stone of a new name which no man knoweth, saying he that receiveth. Y'all, we ain't going to want for nothing. No. Oh, we ain't going to want for nothing when we get our church right. Yeah. Yeah. He going to provide everything we need, uh -huh. even if it's not on this side. Yeah. If he don't heal us on this side, yeah. we still going to be healed. Yeah. Yeah. If our church is right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right? If our church is right. Here's the, the third church. What church I'm on, y'all? Yeah. The third church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thyatira. Right? These things saith the Son of God, who hath his eyes like unto flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. Yeah. I know thy works yeah. and charity yeah. and service and faithful and thy patience, and thy works, and thy last to be more than the first. How many know that people do a lot of charity work for God? A lot of charity work, right? Notwithstanding, I have a few things against you. What? Like what? I did all that right there, God. I, I, I fed the needy. I gave to the sick. Right? I was with you when you was having your surgery. Right? I emptied my closet, y'all. But I have a few things against thee. Y'all, we got some, like, we got to search. Right? You got to search. You got to cleanse our ways. Just a few things, not all things. You're doing good over here. But let's get this right here, over here. Right? Because thou suffereth that woman, Jezebel. Jezebel. Right? Jezebel. I remember people say, that's that old Jezebel over there. You better not go over there. Jezebel will get you in trouble, y'all. Right? Jezebel did a whole lot of stuff. Right? Right? Jezebel did a whole lot of stuff, right? But if we jump on down here, mm -hmm. she was fake. She lured people, right, seduced. Y'all, we got to be careful. Now, let's flip that, right? That can be, um, I can't rhyme nothing with Jezebel. I was going to find a man name. That could be Jack, right? It's Jezebel, but it could be Jack, too, because Jack could get you in trouble, too, ladies. It ain't just Jezebel. It's the spirit of Jezebel, right? Not just don't put it on a woman, right? And he that overcometh, I'm on 26, and keepeth my works until the end, I will give power over nations. And he that ruleth them with a rod of iron and the vessels of potter, shall they be broken and shivered. And I will receive as I received of my father. And I'll give him a morning star. A morning star. We like to go see the sunrise, Sister Eric and Debbie. I don't get up that early. Um, to see the sunrise. But to see the sunrise is really a miracle all by itself. Right? If you ever really watch, there is no sun. 
then all of a sudden you standing in the same place, looking in the same direction, and up crest this round big old thing. That's just the sun. But he will give you the morning star if we just get rid of the Jezebel spirit. If we just get it right one more time. If we just keep it right one more time. Some of us think we're going to just do it right one time. It's one more time. And one more again and again and again. Every day his mercies are renewed daily. So if I mess up yesterday, I can get up today and say, I'm going to do it right today. I'm going to get it right today. I didn't do it right yesterday, God. He made me mad. And I ate him up. But today, God, I'm going to get it right. Because I don't want to carry nothing that's going to keep me from my tree of life, from my morning star. I don't want my candlestick blown out. What kind of church are you? What kind of church are you? We can hear a pretty message and go home the same, but why? Why hear a pretty message and we jump and we shout and we turn around and be like, every time I turn around and be like, every time I turn around, I'm the same old dirty church. And if we're not turning around and we're not cleansing ourselves and we're not doing about face to sin, we'll be the same old dirty church. And when it come, y'all, we're not gonna be ready. You know, they sing that song um, about the woman. She was in the bed, and she looked, and one was gone. One got raptured away. Will that be us? Could we be sitting here in the beautiful church with all the flowers, and some of us get raptured, and some of us are left behind? I don't want to be here for the tribulation, so I think I'm going to get it right the first time. Yeah. Right? We tell our children to get it right, do it right the first time, yeah. and no more do-overs. Pastor say no do-overs. Yeah. If we get it right the first time, we won't have to go through the tribulation. So all that other stuff and revelations, we bypass. Yeah. If you got your church right. Yeah. But then if you don't have your church right, he will give you an opportunity. Yeah. But you're going to suffer. Right. Get it right. Get it right. Get dressed right dressed. Not on the outside. On the inside. Right? When he come back for the bride, let's be that bride and let's be ready. Right? Let's not be like, oh, I didn't go get my dress altered. Oh, I don't have the right shoes. No. Let's be ready when he comes. They don't sing songs like that no more, right? Commission said, be ready when he comes. That's when I turned off all the blues and all the other stuff. I was listening to all the gospel. He said, be ready when he comes. Got to be ready when he comes, right? Be ready when he comes. <laughs> like, why you keep saying that? Y'all know it would be the little foxes. The little leaven, the Bible said the little leaven, leaven of the whole lump. That, it, that don't make sense unless you're a baker, right? If you're a baker, you'll know that you need a little bit. You put too much in there, your bread is what? Flat jacks, bloop, right? And Katie be like, don't, grandma, don't walk in the house when the cake is in the oven, right? If you walk in the house and, you know, we have no foundations like they did back then. We was on the ground, we was up, right? So your house move, y'all come to the tiny house today. The house moves in the tiny house, right? (laughs) Y'all, God got a sense of humor, too. So the tiny house moves, y'all, and it's okay. But a little bit will drop that cake just as flat. You have a good flat pound cake is what you're going to have, right? Good flavor, but it's flat, right? A little leaven, leaven at the whole lump. A little bit of sin, a little bit of sin, a little bit of sin. Sister Erica preached Friday night, and boy, did she preach. Y'all give it up for Sister Erica. She said, y'all getting mad and coming to church, and y'all bringing that mess in the church. Y'all, I was mad at Walton because I... (laughs) 
get in my car. Yes. <laughs> Y'all, come on. We got to be real. So I, I knew I left my white car home with my shoes and my stuff in it. And I was running. I had went all the way to the house. I said, well, well where's my car? Ain't nobody tell him to get my car. And I was like calling him and answering the phone. I'm like, Sandy, is Walter in now? Does he have my car? She said, just calm down. We can, we'll get it together. I was mad, y'all. He had my car. Nobody tell him to get my car and got my shoes and my hair products. I'm trying to get ready for church. All in the wrong spirit, right? Jacked up church. I'm a jacked up church coming to church, right? So Erica said that. I reached over that and say, hey, I was a little mad at you for taking my car. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> you got to get to church right. I was mad he took my car. It's a car. Sandy say, well, your shoes are here. She was trying, y'all. I was like, so. I ain't heard nothing that, Jay. I'm like, why you even got my keys? Who told you to get my keys? A little bit of leaven. A little bit of anger. Right? It'll mess it all up, won't it? We got to recognize the devil. Jacob made me mad this morning. I went to holler. He said, you ain't going to have no voice to preach. I was like, right? Right? I'm like, and what, what kind of church? He'll give us a chance to get it right. He'll let us get it right, y'all. We all going to be tested. I'm going to tell the testimony. Jacob get all the mercy. Jacob get so much mercy since the crying shame. Jacob put the... The, the diesel and where the, where the oil go at, and it wasn't really about Jacob. It was really about Walter, right? We had all this wonderful time yesterday. And he had to mess up and put the track, the oil in the wrong place. And Walter said, I had to remember what we just talked about. <laughs> right? I was like, I said, I'm going to mama house first, and then I'm going to go home. I'm going to see if what he did, because I'm going to say, now, was you a hypocrite? <laughs> if, did you do it right? He said, I had to let him go. I had to remember. I had to just let it go. Try to can be fixed. He passed his test. He passed his test. I want to be the church. Right? At the end of the day, none of that stuff matters. That backhoe ain't going to heaven, but is your soul going to heaven? Come on, y'all. We can't let these little things get us, right? It's the little things, right? Y'all, we do some crazy stuff, don't we? Right? We do some crazy stuff. I never really, I thank God for salvation early. I thank God for moving me away from my Bailey family kind of early. Because, baby, we, we, they, granddaddy taught us well. He taught us about moonshine. And granddaddy used to say, if you drink gin, it ain't no sin. And so I thank God for salvation early because I didn't really understand sometimes why we put it in us. It make us sick as a dog. And then we do it again. Like, why? Like, why? It, we, we, we put it in us, and we sick as a dog, we got a headache and a tummy ache, and then we wake up and we do it all over again. Because the devil has us on a cycle. I think that song says cycles. He'll just have you on a cycle, and you would be like, why am I like the little rat in the pinwheel? Just running in circles. Out of breath, tired, just can't get off the cycle. We just, like the little rat and the little thing, you like, just jump, right? Just a hamster, I'm sorry, not a rat, a hamster, right? But the devil will have us on that thing, on that wheel. And I'll just running, running, going nowhere. Holding us hostage. And none of it does us any good. Don't even make us feel good in the morning. Right? Somebody sung something about feel good in the morning. It don't make you feel good in the morning. Right. You wake up and when you wake up and you see and you feel awful. Let it go. Jump off the wheel. 
get on the potter's wheel. He'll mold us and he'll make us and shape us to what he want us to be. Change wheels, change partners. Get your church right. Get your church right. Get your church right. He coming back. He coming back. Right? So here this church right here. It says um, to the church of Sardis, S-A-R-D-I-S. These things he says that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name that livest and art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain, that they are ready to die, for I have Yeah, hold on one second. Give me two seconds. Y'all know work don't stop. Them people. What kind of church I mean? Somebody, I'm taking care of the sick, right? Can you blame taking care of the sick? Mm-hmm. My, 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 my. My, 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 my. Hallelujah. What kind of church are you? Right? Verse 4 says, Thou has a few names even in Sardeus which have not defiled thy garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He hath overcometh. The same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. For I will confess his name before my father, before the angels. He hath an ear, let him hear. Can we be this church right here? I want to be this church right here. I want him to call my name before his father. Right? Are we working to be like this church? Right? Because he said he knoweth thy works. What are your works speaking today? What are we doing with our spare time? And here you got this church of Philadelphia, right? I can say that word today, y'all. And the angel of the church, and the angel of the church in Philadelphia writes, these things saying, he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth that no man can open. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. Hallelujah. An open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast little strength, and hast kept my word, and thou hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which saith the Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee, because thou hast kept my word. Thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. How do you know he's a keeping God? He's a keeping God, y'all. Which shall come up upon the world to try them that dwelleth in the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man can take thy crown. If we hold on, y'all, we'll have the crown of life. All we got to do, and did you notice that they said they were, they were weak? So that's what we got to be. We got to be weak in our flesh, weak in our own strength, and total dependence on God. And we'll get the crown of life. What kind of church are you? We're going to overcome. And we're going to see the God. This church of Laodicea. We talk about them all the time. Paul, church of Laodicea. Laodicea. 
the Sia, thank you, Sia, help me, right? What do we know about this church, right? They said either you are hot or cold. They were neither hot or cold. They weren't running for Jesus. They weren't fully running out after the devil either. They weren't hot and they weren't cold, right? They weren't doing nothing, Auntie Betty. They weren't doing nothing, right? They were lukewarm. And what did God do? He spit them out their mouth. How I many know that spitting is a nasty thing, right? You got a whipping for spitting, right? He spit them out. He had, didn't want nothing to do with them. So you'd rather be hot for Jesus or cold for the devil. But doing nothing is just as unpleasing. The one man with the one talent that buried it, he called him evil. When you don't do nothing what God has given you, he calls you evil. You got to be doing something what God has given you. Something. What kind of church are you today? What kind of church? But even this church, he gave him a chance to repent and get it right. And get it right. Get it right. We got to get it right, y'all. Isaiah 1 and 18. It says, come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet and they shall be as white as snow, Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. I mean, God will wash you. God will forgive you. God will cleanse you so you can be the right church. So when he write the, the story in the letter about the church of Gwen, right? I want my, my letter to be, I'm pleased with you. I'm pleased with what you've done. I don't want to do all this. And then he say, but when you went home, you was just full of hell. Right? You treated them people on the job like they was dirt. But then you came in here and you... Right. Right. Went to the dentist. I'm about to say, we be smiling. He tell Terrell and Noah that they just be smiling at each other. He say, well, did y'all go to the dentist today? <laughs> Right? We want to be looking. And I can imagine getting to the gates. Right? You know how when, uh, I'm sure Jacob was pretty nervous when dad said, I'm on the way home yesterday. Right? I bet you he was pretty nervous now that he know he done messed up that back home. And you know, he's like, oh, I wonder what dad's going to say. I wonder what dad's going to say. When we get to the gates, because everybody going to the gate. Everybody going to the gate. When you get to the gate, what you going to be like? Right? Are you going to be nervous? Oh, God, but I, oh, God, but I, did I repent? Oh, God, I wish I should have, could have, would have. If I had a little more time. Or oh, you'd be like, oh, yeah. I'm waiting on my turn. Hurry up, hurry up, I'm getting there. Who is three more ahead of me? Cause I'm going in the gate. What are we gonna be like when we get at the gate? That's your choice. That's your decision. That's on you. Like they say, the ball is in your court. The ball is in my court, whether I'm gonna be excited to get to the gate or I'm gonna be nervous. It's on you. I wanna be excited. I'm be like, it's my turn. Hey, all the works that I've done, all the tears that I've cried, all the pain that I felt, all the times I went to Bible study and we flipped through this and we learned, I'm going to be like, oh, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. It's all worth it. But if we don't get our church right, we're going to be in trouble. How many want to go with me? How many want to go with me? The old song say, go with me to my father's house. In order to go together, y'all, we got to get our church right. And if we love more and we do more and we do what this word says, we're going to be excited to get to the gates. 
We're going to be the church that God is calling for in these last and evil days. What kind of church are you? What kind of church are you? Pastor teaches us all the time, and it, it just, don't let it go over your head. Don't let us say we got time. Don't let us say, I'll do that tomorrow, right? ADD, when you have ADD, AD say, I'll get to it in a minute. I'm going to do it in a minute. I'm going to do it in a minute. If y'all don't battle with ADD, you'll say, I get to it in a minute. I get to it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip my phone on one more time and I'm going to scroll. Right? Y'all don't let it catch us. Don't let it catch you. Ain't nothing out there. Your mom and them used to tell you that, Erica. Ain't nothing out there. Ain't nothing out there. Right? But I can tell you, it's everything over here. It's everything you need is over here with Jesus. No more stressing, right? You can take all your weight and give it to him, right? Who can you do that with? Who can you give all your debt to? And they say, I got you. Who can you give your problems to? And they say, I got you. Who can you cry? And they said, I'll take every little tear and put it in a face. I'm a bottle of all your tears. Who bottling up your tears other than God? Only Jesus, everything you need. He got it. Come on over here. Come on over here. Get your church right. So we can so we can gather as saints. Here you go. Let's put it together. If we have our church right, we're gonna gather the saints all the time. All the time. We're going together, and we're going to gather all the time if your church is right. What kind of church are you? Y'all, let's come to the altar, and let's repent, and let's get our churches right. Not saying who says what, do what, it don't matter. It don't matter. But let's come, 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 come. Come, come, come. We're going to ask God to wash us and cleanse us and make us white as snow and to get it right. Because we want to be gathering forever, not just today, but we just want to gather forever. We just want to gather forever. How many want to see each other again? Help us, God. Help us, God. Help us, God. Father, we thank you today. Thank you for the word of God. Thank you for just the word of God. Don't have to add to it. Don't have to take away from it. Thank you for your word of God. Thank you for our opportunity. Thank you for loving us enough to have John write it so that we can read it, that we can get it right. Thank you, God, for an opportunity to repent. Repentance is good. Some people look at repentance as it's, it's, it's bad and that the altar is not your friend. I remember Pastor Callahan said the altar is your friend. You can run to the altar and God will meet you here. Whatever we need is at the altar. It's a sign of humbleness. It's a sign that, God, I need you, submissiveness. Father God, we just ask right now that your presence, your anointing, God, let it rain. Let it go from one side of the room to the other side of the room. Let it burn out any iniquities. Let it purge our hearts. Let it purge our minds. Let it purge our mouth. God, give us a conscience that when we don't do it right, God, let the Holy Spirit press us. Let it press us till we feel it, till we say, I don't want to do this no more. Call us, Jesus, into our rightful place. Forgive us for not answering the call when you have called us. 
allow us to walk after you and after yes. you and after you and after you alone yes father god if there's anything that's not in, in anything that's in front of us that's in between me and you god move it move it right move it If we can't move it, have somebody else move it. If we can't move it, have them leave. Yes. Anything that's not like you. God, we ask you to help us. Can't do it on our own. And Father, we thank you because we know that you're going to do it. We thank, thank you because we know that you're going to wash us. We thank you because you know you're going to provide for us. And God, you're going to yeah. allow us to draw closer to you. Yeah. Yes. And we thank you for that, God. Thank we thank you. you for that, God. God, give us a joy like never before. Give us a zeal to run after you like never before. Give us a no. Give us a no, God. <laughs> Give us a no. No, I'm not going to do this. And no, I'm not going to say that. And no, I'm not going to go there. And no, I'm not going to let you push me out of the spirit. Give us a no, God. But most of all, give us a yes for you, Jesus. Yes, I'll serve you. Yes, I'll love you. Yes, I'll read your word. Yes, I'll spend time with you, God. Yes, God. We bless your name today, Jesus. There's none like you. There's none like you, God. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you for holding me. Thank you for using me, God. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. God, I ask you to give us all strength to do a little bit more. God, not to give us strength, God to love a little bit more. Give us strength, God, to forgive a little bit more. Jesus. Jesus. Be careful to give your name the praise, the glory, and all the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. 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 Get your church right. Get your church right. Amen. You can have your seats. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.